So I've been putting a lot of thoughts into the content for this channel. I've been doing a lot of automations, but I also wanted to give you a glimpse into my notion and how I actually use it. So I've decided to divide this content up into two areas. The first area being Automated Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, I will walk you through an automation that I'm working on that might inspire you to upgrade your notion, so to speak. The second area is a series that I'm called Build With Me, where I actually give you a glimpse of my personal notion and how I use it in both my work and personal life. So this coming Tuesday, I am going to be demonstrating how I integrate my Google Calendar with my Notion Calendar. That ties into today's Built With Me, where I'm actually going to be showing you my, what I call daily dashboard or planner and how I set that up and kind of personalize it with a theme. The reason why I'm doing this on Sundays is because Sundays is my designated Notion play time. Notion can be very addictive when you're building out dashboards and playing with templates and you can get distracted from your actual work. You convince yourself that you're being productive, but it's really procrastination. So in order to avoid this, I block out time for myself to play with my dashboard or tweak things, so to speak, and just try out new things. That way, I'm not taking away time from my actual work. So without further ado, let's dive into my Notion. Here we have my template for my daily planner page. Every week, I duplicate this and then update it for the upcoming week. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating a time blocking section. First, we start with a new page. Now I want to create some columns here. So I have two text rows that I'm going to put side by side, make the left side smaller than the right. And then I'm going to add a series of dividers and text fields. So I'm basically mimicking um, time blocking that I would do in my actual paper planner. Now I'm not a strict time blocker. I don't like to pack my day full of stuff because I don't like it when my day changes and I have to go and delete things. So the only things I actually add to my time blocking prior to that day are appointments or meetings, stuff that are set in stone. I'd rather throughout the day just add in things that I actually did so that I can get an accurate glance of what my day looks like. We're gonna turn this page block into a toggle. Once we turn this over, you'll see that all the information will come through and our columns are still intact. Now it's time to do some decorating. I live in the Northeast part of the United States and right now we are dealing with cicadas. If you don't know what those are, they are large flying insects. They live underground for most of their lifespan. And then they, every 13 or 17 years, they come up out of the ground to mate and to drive us crazy with their buzzing. Their buzzing can be heard. It, it's loud, it's like a little, insect rock concert and you can barely hear yourself think because it's so loud and when I was trying to figure out what my theme was going to be this week um, some cicadas actually flew into my window of my office so that's how I decided that I was going to have a cicada theme uh, planner this week I created these headers uh, in Canva this morning and I basically have templates for these um, I'll provide the measurements, but you know, they're based, it's based off of my screen. So I don't know how well it'll do on other screens. So we basically have some flying cicada headers and I'm not sure about the size here. I might make these bigger or I don't know, maybe I'll leave them the size. Let's see what this looks like. Just a little bit bigger. Nah, I, I think I like it originally how it was. So you can always adjust the size of the headers if they are too big or too small. But now it's time to update our page covers. So I also have templates set up already for my month and my daily page covers. So I know exactly where the month and the day text is going to fall. And I'm not spending all day trying to play around with measurements. So I'll leave a link below of some covers that I've created. Um, in the past and you can try them out for yourself. So I'm just going to go through and add a, a cover for each day. I'm 
I'm really liking how this looks with the exception of that pesky me box. So I'm going to make that go away by locking this page. Now, by locking this page, the box does go away, as you can see, but I'm going to lose the ability to edit the bottom of the page. But I'm OK with that because I don't really actually do any planning on this page. I mostly work inside the day pages. So if I click on the Monday page and I go inside this page here, I'm still able to check off tasks or even update my time blocking section. I also like to add links to any action items or calendar events that I need to do that day. So I can put in my status meeting. I can also set reminders for myself. So I can set a reminder here to start dinner at four o'clock and then Notion will send me a notification at four o'clock that that's what I should be doing. Of course, we have to test this out in dark mode and I am really liking this. I think this is going to be a dark mode kind of a week. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and that you found something useful out of it. If you'd like to see more Build With Me's, please give this a like. And if you want to be notified when I upload my automation on Tuesday, please subscribe. Until next time, happy building a notion.